Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm a financial advisor at Consorting Private Wealth and today's video is going to be on um, how to read your super statement. If you're like most of the population, once the statement comes into your mailbox, you get it, you look at it, throw it in the bin or you hit delete on your email when it comes through. But um, it might be worth just to take a, make a bit of an effort to read your super statement. Um, just make sure everything's in order and then you can watch your retirement savings grow and it's a good time to do it early on not a year before you want to retire um, because yeah you're not giving it much chance then so just a couple of things to look out for look, um, in a nutshell all super statements will have the same information it's just that their layouts will be somewhat different um, first thing to check on is your contributions um, into your super fund Make sure that your employer is popping in the minimum 9.5% super guarantee payments. You can match that off with your pay slips that you get. So those will probably be going in quarterly or monthly depending on how your employer has set that up. You can also check if your seller is sacrificing that those amounts are going in correctly as well. Um, also check on your transactions and fun, um, money coming out that there's, you'll have your, like your administration fees and there'll also be some investment fees. So depending on how you're actually invested, there will be fees associated with that. Um, excessive fees can be a bit of a drag on your overall savings. So just make sure that it's, um, you're paying fair fees. Otherwise go out and have a look at other retail funds or industry funds and see if there's something a little bit more competitive out there. Also on your super statement, there'll be an area called investment earnings. That'll show you what kind of dividends have come in and also your overall capital growth. So that's another good one to keep an eye on. Just be aware though with those investment earnings that sometimes it can be a, a, a negative figure, especially if you've got a lot of um, high growth investments, you know, like all your international Australian shares. Insurance is another area that will be on your statement. Um, so there it will have listed if you've got life or total permanent disability and some people also have their income protection in there. So just check that those insurances are still appropriate to your needs at the moment. Um, you might not need any insurance or actually you might be well under insurance depending on where you are in your life. And also those premiums will also be coming out of your fund so keep an eye on those as well. Um, one more other thing that you'll find on your statement will be your investment options, so how you are actually invested. So it might be in a, a form of a pie graph or something like that that shows the split of how many Australian equities or international equities you might have, or even if you've just got some sitting in cash. Maybe just um, check to see if that's appropriate to how you like to invest. For a lot of people, this is a really good spot to actually chat to an advisor about. Just a couple of other little basic things to check on would be, have you provided your super fund your tax file number? Because if you haven't, some funds might be deducting too much tax and also um, earnings, might be, um, you might be getting taxed too much from the earnings in there as well. Um, another area on your super statement will be if you've had a binding death nomination um, nominated. So this just allows you to choose um, who your money gets left to if you were to pass away. That's a good one to make sure that one's always up to date. Everyone's circumstances do change there and you might want it not need to be updated. Um, also make sure that your address is always up to date and your name if you've um, married. Because if the super statements keep getting returned back to the super fund, they might actually end up sending this statement to lost super. Then you have to try to chase that up through the ATO. Um, one more thing is just if you have more than one super fund, might be getting all these super statements coming in and it's getting a little bit overwhelming. Don't just instantly think, okay, roll them all over into one. It might be another good time to make an appointment with your financial advisor just so they can do a bit of digging for you and check all the insurances within before that. Sometimes people will roll them into one and they've lost a lot of valuable insurance. Um, yeah, so look, this is super. Um, if you're not having trouble understanding it, it's probably one really good area where you should make that appointment with your advisor, even just once a year, if you could just call in for a half hour chat to make sure everything's on, on track, it um, be worth a half hour a year. Thanks for listening and um, 
See you later.